Oh, hello! Hi, it's so good to meet you both. So good to meet you. Me too. Yeah. Have you guys been here before? It is just the cutest place. I adore it. Here is the drink menu. Whatever you want, I've got it. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Oh, I'll do the Frankfurt ice pick. Sure, yeah, I'll do that too. Excellent. Okay, I'll be right back. You guys have a seat. Thanks. Oh, hi. I'm Dana. Yeah, I know. I'm basically our chaperone. She calls me sometimes to do this. Oh, yes, this is Todd. He's my friend. Um, he actually plays Kajan in my band. Oh, you're in a band? Yeah, we're working on an album right now. I really love music. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Are you a Taurus? Uh, no. I am. Okay, I thought I sent some Taurus energy here. Oh yeah? What does that, what does that mean? Well, it kind of depends. It's like an elemental thing, but what is your moon sign? I don't know. Okay, well I have this new app. If you give me your birthday, the time and location, I can find it for you. Um, April 28th. Wait, I'm sorry, hold on one second. I'm so sorry, I just have to deal with this. Okay, you guys. I love your music. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I mean, we loved your work and pretty much every movie you've been in. <laughs> Thank you. It's really actually been hard recently because I basically just get offered roles and then when I show up, the whole thing falls apart because no one has their shit together and I waited for nothing. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah. I am really looking forward to Sense Sensibility though. Todd, will you go get us our drinks? Yeah, no, that movie is super sweet. It's not really the direction I'm trying to go, but I feel like sometimes you have to take those small roles. It's really about timing. Oh yeah, we've had situations like that with our music. Okay, hold on one second. Oh wait, so I saw your guys' video about how you're polyamorous. I'm actually queer myself. Oh cool. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's like technically the same thing as queer. Well, but. I'm really more about like when the moment seizes you and you have that instant connection and take it and really explore the sexual chemistry between you. Where did Todd go? Oh, he just disappears like that sometimes. Oh, yeah, so like with me, I've always envisioned myself in a throuple. Like that's coming from someone who is very particular. Like I know what I want and how I want it. Yeah, I think a uh, throuple is something to aspire to. Right? Have you guys been in a throuple? Uh, we've had like experiences in the past, but nothing's ever really stuck too long. Yeah, well, I feel like you really have to define it. Do you guys feel like communication is like essential? Oh yeah, definitely essential. Yeah, I feel like if you lay everything out, that's the best way to get what you want out of a relationship. Like, if I had lovers, I'd want them to come to me and just stay for a few hours. I'm really not into the whole sleepover thing. Oh, interesting. Well, I like to be dominant in the day-to-day -day and really like take on those tasks, but then be completely submissive in bed. Oh, we're more of like a slow moving, like get to know you, like friends first kind of vibe. Right, yeah, no, totally. Yeah, I feel like with sexual chemistry, for me, it's like getting to that place of comfort um, with someone, you know, where you just really know them and they really know you. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I just matched with a guy on Tinder and he's like five minutes walking distance from here. Oh wow, that's cl close. I know, my pet sitter's only there till 12. Do you think I have enough time? Yeah. Yeah. I. Definitely. So I should do it. You totally should. Seize the moment. Oh my God, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. We should definitely hang out again. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, well bye. Have a bye. great time. Go get them, girly.